Hi, and thanks for joining this Acumatica video on the Device Hub. So in today's video, we're going to go through and show you the power of the Device Hub and how to set it up. So first off, we're running this instance of Acumatica with this URL. So we'll put that in the clipboard. Let's go over to our Device Hub and we open it up and we go into File and we go into our Configuration and we'll paste that URL. We give it credentials. Now because this instance, and I'll sign out to show you, has no second and third companies, there's no company selector here. So what that means is under our, I'll log in again, and I'll go back to the device hub, under our tenant we leave that blank. So let's go to printers, let's add a new printer, and we'll call this HP Office. Click OK. And now Acumatica will go through and it will poll the instance to determine if the printer configuration is proper. So it isn't. So let's go into System Management and Printers. And here we have a few printers that were set up previously. What we'll do is we'll click Update Printer List and we'll refresh. And now you can see our HP Office Jet. So now this is configured and talking to Acumatica. Now a few prerequisites. So if we go into the sales order preferences, for example, under report settings, you'll notice there's a new column here. So this is where we can set up our default printer per report. So our shipment report defaults to this printer, but let's change that to the new one. And our shipping label defaults to nothing. Let's change that as well and save it. But you'll also notice throughout Acumatica and through the preferences, so if I go to AR Preferences for example, under Report Settings, you have this default printer column where you can choose the printer where you want your scheduled reports to come out. So as you may know, throughout Acumatica, when I select a report for printing, well by design, when I configure my template and schedule it, the associated default printer will be used through the device hub. So let's go back to something called quick processing. I've talked about that in previous videos. So if we go to our order types, that's where we set it up. And just briefly, if I go to my quick process settings, you'll notice that in addition to configuring the defaults that go through the quick process, for example, printing these documents, I can also define my default printer to use here. So let's choose this and save it. And now let's go through and create a new sales order and run it through the quick process. So we'll choose a customer. We'll choose a stock item. and we'll select Quick Process. So now you can see our default has been pulled in here and all our other defaults. I only want to print the shipping confirmation here. The customers next to me, they're going to take this over the counter, so there's no need for a pick list. So I want a shipment confirmation for them and no invoice. I'm going to email out the invoice later. So we'll click OK. Now Acumatica will go through the quick process function. It is going to generate an invoice, but we're going to email that through another process. And you can see the shipment confirmation is prepared. That means it's printing. So if we go to our device hub and we open it up, you can see that this job was successfully sent to HP Office. Now, in Acumatica, there is under system management an area called jobs. And if we take a look at this, and uncheck High Process, we can see that this shipment confirmation was successfully sent to our printer. So now if we go throughout the software, you can see you can use the Device Hub for various tasks. In another video, we're going to show the Pick, Pack, and Ship option that can be configured to use the Device Hub to print out shipment confirmations and shipping labels when picking and packing and shipping. So that's it. That's the Acumatica Device Hub. If you have any questions, at the end of our video, there's a contact slide. 
please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.